We all know that space is big, but how big is it? The easy answer is to just say, hey, it's infinite. It's not like there's some wall at the end of the universe that you can't pass through. But we don't know if the universe really does go on forever. And even if it did, that might not mean it was truly infinite. What if it's like the surface of the Earth? You can go around the globe forever and never find the edge. If the universe is like the surface of the Earth, but maybe in three dimensions instead of two, it wouldn't have an edge, but it also wouldn't be infinite. Or would it? In math, you can think about infinity as just adding one to whatever biggest number someone can come up with. But you can also find infinity between any two numbers. Just keep dividing the distance in half. Every time you do, you find a new number, and there's no reason you'd ever have to stop. If you think about 3D space, this means that no matter how close together two locations might be, you can always find another point between them. So even if the universe has a fixed size, it might still contain an infinity of locations. But that's math, and math doesn't always match up with physical reality. In the physical world, can you really keep dividing and dividing and dividing space as long as you like? Eh, yes and no. You're all good to keep dividing down from meters, to centimeters, to millimeters, to nanometers, to atometers. But once you get down to lengths of around 10 to the negative 35th meters, you start to run into problems. According to some theories, when you get down to this scale, the uncertainty principle makes it impossible to tell whether a particle is here or there. And if there's no way to tell the difference between one location and another, they might as well be the same place. Which means that as far as we know, 10 to the negative 35th meters is the smallest possible length there is. So the universe may or may not be infinite in length, and it probably can't hold things that are infinitely small. So what does that mean for the question of how big space really is? Well, we can go on what we do know. The observable universe is a sphere with a radius of around 46.5 billion light years. That's roughly 10 to the 26th meters, which is like 10 to the 61st of those smallest possible lengths. But that's just the radius. If you want to make sure to count all of space, you have to take the volume which is around 10 to the 180th smallest possible cubes. That's a one with 180 zeros following it. And you can think of it as counting every single unique place in the universe. So how big is that? Let's say it takes you a minute to gather together a thousand of those smallest possible cubes to make a new, larger cube. Then another minute to take a thousand of these new cubes and make an even larger one. Using this process, it would take you an hour to build a cube the size of the observable universe. And as mind-bogglingly huge as that is, it's probably only the smallest that the universe can be.